Does your brand need a metaverse strategy? I'm Pete Reese Campbell, the CEO and founder of Kaizen, and I want to talk to you about my views on it, because to be frank, I have zero interest in living in a world created by Mark Zuckerberg for the rest of my life. And I don't think many people do. I think that all the buzz and trend and discourse around metaverse actually has put a lot of people off the concepts. And I think when you look at the benefits that this technology can provide, it's actually really exciting. The idea that you could just connect with someone that lives hundreds of miles away within an instant, and you could just see them as a 3D presence in your living room, and then you can hang out like normal. You can have a coffee, you can play a game together, and you can enjoy it and be close together that's 10 times better than a Zoom call. Of course though, that technology to that level is five to 10 years away. But if you're an owner of an Oculus Quest headset or a PlayStation VR headset, you can enjoy these experiences right now, and I have. There's Fortnite, there's Decentraland, and most notably, there's Roblox. Now, if you don't know what Roblox is, it's right now got 44 million active daily users, largely kids and teenagers. And this 3D virtual Lego-like experience lets you play games, create your own world, create your own avatar. And it's just crazy how popular it really is, especially on mobile devices. You can even play Squid Game on Roblox. And there's some really smart brands out there that are already doing activations within Roblox. There's Nike, there's Forever 21, and also Vance. And Roblox as a brand, it's a great fit in particular if you work in the e-commerce space, if you're creating products that you want to get directly to consumers, and also you're an entertainment brand. Let's talk about Nike. Nike, in November, created an experience called Nikeland. It's a Olympic style 3D world where you can do like long jumps or 100 meter sprints, all in these avatars that users have designed within the world. And of course, head to toe, they're in Nike gear. And it's really smart when you think about this as a way to reach a much younger target demographic. And that's in particular where I think that this metaverse stuff can be really exciting. If you've an e-commerce brand and a retailer and you've got a really passionate active community on social media, it is a natural extension to go that one step further and think about how can you get these younger target demographics. On top of that, of course, there's Fortnite. Now, Fortnite's already been around now for seven years, but in the past three years, they've been slowly pivoting to doing more and more brand partnerships, particularly in the entertainment space. There's Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and almost every major video game franchise out there, and pop stars and Ariana Grande. It's going crazy, to be honest. But again, it's offering this access to a shared 3D world space where if you're up and down the world, you can feel more connected with your friends online through these shared experiences. Also, if you're not that convinced, Firstly, why don't you try experimenting it from a workplace point of view? If you buy an Oculus Quest headset and they're only a few hundred dollars, there's an app called Horizon Workrooms. And within that, you can design your own meeting room. And there's even companies going as far as creating entire lands and islands that are representative of their workplace. And what's really interesting about it, besides it just being, yeah, of course, it sounds like a bit like a gimmick, is that if your workforce is remotely distributed, and it probably is right now in terms of a pandemic, if you've, if you've got a person like myself in London and one of my colleagues is in Manchester, we can just both pop on a Oculus Quest headset and within seconds we're having that sort of real life interaction and body language that just makes you feel that much closer to them. Which, to be honest, is a real problem with remote working. How do you continue to maintain that culture and actually just feel like you can sort of click with people? And that's for me is where it's really exciting. And you've got to understand that right now, this technology is only maybe something that we do every now and again. But increasingly as it improves, I think it's going to be a big part of our daily lives. And as a brand marketeer, especially in the e-commerce space, you really need to be looking at what your metaverse strategy is. Uh, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one.